What is going on guys? Welcome to this video. It's going to be a little different than my normal content. Um, not super wacky, not a vlog. It's just going to be me kind of chatting a little bit. Um, as you can see, I'm in an RV. I'm not trying to unbutt my shirt. Ugh. Uh, I'm in an RV right now <clears throat> at my mom's house because this past weekend my grandfather passed away. So my mom's dad. And uh, I wanted to kind of talk about um, some stuff. So... Sorry that this video isn't going to be an uplifting and whatnot, but I I got a comment in one of my last videos that said, um, you know, hey, like your grandfather, I don't know how this person knows this stuff, I guess they follow everything, but they're like, hey, your, your grandfather passed away and you're still in Texas and your brother, you know, p packed up and went to visit your mom like, you know, the next day or something like that, like shows where your priorities was or are. And uh, I thought I'd kind of talk about um, I, I guess I address that and just address some stuff that I don't really talk about uh, on this channel. Um, I got the phone call um, this past Saturday when I was out shooting uh, some photos with Christian and everyone. And I got the call that my grandfather had passed. He was 87 years old. I had spoken with him on the phone a couple, um, his birthday was in September, I believe. So I spoke to him on the phone then. And, um, you know, he's, he's lived a very good life and it's, it's one of those unfortunate things that, you know, it, it was, it was coming and, um, you know, at least he lived a, a great life. People loved him. He was a magician, uh, a great magician at that. It still kind of blew my mind at a lot of stuff that he did, but I got the call and I told everyone, I was like, you know, my granddad passed away and they're like, oh my God, like, you know, you okay? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Um, I kind of expected it. I kind of knew it was coming. So I called my mom. And I was like, you know, let me know when the service is and I'll be down there. And then she, later that day, she's like, hey, the service is, you know, Thursday and your brother's flying down like tonight or something like that. And, and you know, a lot of people, their first instinct would be drop what you're doing, put your family first. There's, a, there's an issue, be with your family. Um, you know, like you, you, you're stupid, Max. Like, why would you, why would you not go, go be with your mom? And a big problem a big problem that I have that I don't really talk about is my lack, my lack of ability to, to show emotion and to show, like, I, it's almost like I don't know how to show empathy and how to show, you know, mourning. And, um, I just, I, I've, I've always kind of dealt with this and I, I feel that when I'm around people where there's a situation that's sad or a situation that. I, it's like I just I I don't know how to I don't know how to be and I almost feel sometimes that it's like if I'm not there then that's better because I feel like I I I make people uncomfortable because I'm not I don't show emotions I I, I close up with just everything and like in my head and it doesn't make sense because you know my priorities weren't something else so, you know i cared about my granddad i care about my mom um you know it, it wasn't about like the money to get to a ticket it wasn't about anything it was just like in my head i was like i'll be there for the service um because i just i, I don't know how to be around people who are <laughs> you know showing emotion I, I just don't know how like it's it's like always been a problem for me and, and i don't know why uh, i'm that way um when my dad passed away, when I was 15, um, I remember, I think he had the illness, or at least when he told me of the illness, ALS, for about uh, two, three years. And I remember my mom and my stepdad at the time, not the same stepdad, um, she was dating someone else at the time, or engaged to someone else, or married, I don't know. But um, they came in my room, and they're like, your dad passed away. And I mean, they were sitting on the, on the bed, and they were both you know, crying, and I was just like, okay, like I, I, I don't know why it didn't affect me. And it's, I, I loved my dad. I love my dad. I, I miss him to death. And I just have always had like an issue with the ability to show emotions. And I feel just like if it's like, I feel that I'm making other people uncomfortable by being somewhere because I feel like I'm not showing emotions how I should. So then I'm like feeling like I'm making them upset or making them feel worse. So I almost feel like the best way to go about everything that I'm doing is just to not be there until I really need to be there. Um, we go visit my dad's um, memorial or the, my, my dad's grave site every single year um, in January. We go down to Roanoke where he passed and we go to 
the cemetery and it's usually my brother my sister-in-law my sister you know my stepmom um maybe some grand you know some grandmothers on my stepmom's side and everyone it's like upset and crying and like i almost feel like awkward and like because i don't know how to 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 be i don't know how to talk about emotions i don't know how to talk about feelings i, I don't, it's like i just put up this wall where like nothing affects me and i don't know why i'm this way and it's it's affected me a lot with relationships um, in the past where I've gotten into arguments because I just never open up. I never show emotions. I never show feelings. I'm sure that's why in these videos, you know, you guys never see me upset. I, I just like, I put up this wall of like the inability to, to show emotions and, and I don't know and it's, and it's a problem and it's and it's like something that's like oh Max obviously you just be there for people just be with your family just be this stuff and I'm like I, I just in my head like I don't know why I do it like I, in my head I'm just like I need to not be there until I need to be there because if I do then I'm gonna make this person feel like I don't care you know how it's like a vicious circle you know it's like <laughs> I, 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 I don't know um so it's something that I, I hope I would say that I'm trying to work on, uh, but I, I feel like it's been since I was like 15 that I've just when my dad passed, it just I don't know. I just it's it's hard for me to get emotional about things, and it's like I don't know how to to show people who are in who are upset. I don't know how to comfort people, and I, I feel like me not being around is a better way. Because I feel like it would just, I feel like I'd do something to make them feel uncomfortable. So, uh, I don't know. I guess the, the entire point of this video is maybe there's people out there that are similar to me. Or you know people that are like this. Where you think they're like, they're oh, they're soulless. They're heartless. Like they don't, you know, they don't ever show emotions at all. They have no feelings. And it's it's not, it's not that like I don't have feelings. Um, I do. <laughs> I just don't know how to show them. And I don't know how to console people who are upset i don't know how to I, I don't know uh it's just an odd thing about me that i've never really uh, talked about because i don't talk about feelings but i feel like i share a lot of things with you guys and maybe that's just something that uh, you should know about me that I, it, I i i have a lot of walls put up and i don't know if it's from my dad getting sick and then passing, and him not being in my life anymore, I, you know, and that's that aspect. When when it comes to deaths and you know tragic events, it just like it's like a I don't know how to deal with it. I just in my and I my first instinct is to not not be there is because I, and I don't know why it's not right. Um, and then in relationships and stuff, it's a I've gotten hurt a lot in the past, um, and so I put up a lot of walls, and that's what affects me in relationships is because I just, I don't know. I, I, this is just me. This is just, this is a video for me that I decided just to put up. I just wanted to talk. Um, try to do this in one take, let you guys know how I feel. And, um, yeah, maybe you know someone that's like me, maybe you're like me and it, it's just hard, something hard to explain. <laughs> wow, Max. <laughs> wow, Max. All you have to do is go be with your family. Wow. Suck it. It's like, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to word it. I don't know. How to do it I, I feel like I've probably pushed away or not pushed away but I've probably made weird made it weird I've probably not been a good sibling to my my brother my sister at sometimes maybe even to my mom I don't I don't I don't like it's like I don't go out of my way to to ask people like how they're feeling I don't a, I go out of my way to to ask people how they are or how um you know to check in on people. Like I don't text my family and I don't like call my family on a consistent basis. It's not because I don't care about them. It's not because I don't want to know. I just like, it's, it's like I had this, this, this weird thing in my brain. I, and I just, I just don't think to do it. I just don't think to do it. And, and it's not because I, f I have other priorities that are more important. It's not because I feel like I'm better than, you know, than like that. I, I shouldn't call them. I just or text. I don't know. I just, it's a weird thing guys. I don't know how long this video was, but I appreciate you taking time to watch it. We'll get back to wacky content in another one. But uh, yeah, just just know that if if someone's maybe acts like I do and you think that they're just selfish and you think that 
they have they're putting other priorities up that it's maybe something more and that's how i feel about it. and I don't know, that i'm repeating myself <laughs> my feelings are that i don't know how to have feelings about a lot of stuff and i feel that if i just not be there it's better than if i'm there so it's not right but it's something i'm working on so thank you guys for hearing me vent and uh See you in the next one.